Hi Aquarius, welcome to your spirit guide messages for December. This is Mary and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new, welcome returning. Thank you so much for coming back. So this is for December, but I do consider all the readings on my channel timeless. So if you like to go back and look at my channel, check out what I have. If you're new, please feel free. You like what you see, you can always subscribe. And if you do, thank you. Hit the bell, you won't miss out. I do different variety of readings every month for all the signs. So this is intended for whenever you see this till whenever. So this is what Spirit wants you to know at this time, Spirit messages. So let's see what we have for Aquarius. Hope everybody's doing well. Welcome in. Happy December. Happy early Christmas. All right. So let's see what we have for Aquarius. Spirit messages for Aquarius. What do we have for Aquarius Spirit, please? What does Aquarius need to know? At this time, I'm going to get three oracles from each deck, and then we'll clarify each oracle card with a tarot card after. So we have Earth Magic here, we have Work Your Light, and we have Spirit Messages. All the decks are listed below. Tons of information in the description box, so you can check that out. Um, how to reach out for personal reading, decks I'm using, social media, lots of information down there. So please feel free to check that out. All right, Aquarius, what's going on? What does Spirit want you to know at this time? What do you want Aquarius to know at this time, Spirit, please? Thank you so much. Three messages, one, two, and three. All right, so we have the, that was Work Your Light. This is the Spirit messages. And then we have the Oceanic Tarot. All right, Aquarius. Spirit messages for Aquarius. It's too many. It fell right in my lap. I said, oh, maybe those are your messages, but it was too many. So three cards for Aquarius. Three cards for Aquarius, please. That's too many. Three cards, one, four, two, and three. All right, let's see what's going on. We have Dragonfly Emergence. So, oh, so I might read a little bit about that. We have Iceberg Submerged. Something made me feel like, feeling like, so you have Emergence and Submerged. So that's like, <laughs> Wow, so that's like, you know, emerging yourself and then just being totally submerged and like secluded. So have you gone within, withdrawn, and like, just like, st stuck in, in something? Or are you being a hermit? So we have wolf, which is instinct. So this is following your gut, your intuition, your instinct, your natural instinct. Uh, let's see here with, I want to write, read a little bit. That's just crazy how we got emergence and then submerged. It's almost like, um, to me, the same. Well, emergence is about um, how like a, uh, a caterpillar, caterpillar <laughs> emerges themselves into a cocoon, but then they emerge into, you know, a butterfly. So let's see, um, dragonfly. So we have here, you are in intense process. You are in an intense process of emergence into the next cycle of your life. Unlike more gradual shifts in awareness you have experienced, this one is happening quite rapidly. It came on somewhat unexpectedly, without any pauses for contemplation or indecision. You may even think that you are unprepared for such dramatic changes in your life. Yet you are prepared, and can put to use the experiences and wisdom you have accumulated up to now. Life is demanding that you move into the next stage of maturity. This requires you to adjust your thinking about yourself, others, and your community. It calls for you to shed yet another layer of your ego-filled defenses and let go of any illusions of being less than who you are. This period of emergence is one of broadened consciousness and heightened perceptual cap capacities. And since it is inevitable, it is best to surrender to, in, 
to the flow and allow yourself to gracefully move into the next cycle of your life. Hmm, wow. It's almost like the earth energy, you know, the world energy of the tarot, like cycles ending and cycles beginning and just letting it happen, just ha letting it happen, going with the flow. Then you have submerged. So you have iceberg here. So let's see. Whatever you suppress or deny and attempt to keep out of consciousness, awareness will show up somewhere and somehow. These are your shadow aspects. At one time, you put them out of your consciousness for good reason, yet they remain contained by, by shame and guilt. Sometimes these submerged aspects of yourself are projected onto others so that they mirror those d denied or suppressed parts of you. And you may even harshly judge these characteristics when they are exhibited. Now is the time to allow these elements to surface and embrace them. How it's like I'm getting almost like the same kind of energy here. These may make up some sort of self expression, a secret dream you wish to accomplish, or even uglier aspects that are difficult to acknowledge or accept. Whatever you have submerged deep inside of you, this is your opportunity to pay attention to those things and welcome them into to the family called you. So, wow. So this, you know, whatever you've been holding down, submerging deep down, now I think it may be emerging. <laughs> this is like, following your instinct, your natural, um, just following the natural instinct of you and knowing, you know, I just can't keep this submerged anymore. Now I'm just going to let it emerge. So, wow. And you may have had that instinct to submerge something to keep it deep down within, but now it's like, now it needs to emerge. It could be a secret. It could be something that happened to you. Um, you know, before that you never told anybody, um, a secret, I don't know, something here. Wow. So let's see what we have here. Transformation. Things are changing at a cellular level, deep healing. So I feel like whatever, whatever is happening here, whatever you've kept submerged that will now emerge, <laughs> it's like just a natural instinct. Like you just can't hold it in anymore. So now things will change. There'll be healing. There'll be transformation. Wow. Then we have Imrama. Where are you being called to journey to? Hmm. So I may read a little bit about that. So let's see what the next one is here. So we have take a break. A life's work. Not a season. Get off the treadmill. So this is telling you to relax. Take a break. Don't think. You know, don't rush so much. Don't be so busy. So that may be a little separate uh, message there. So Imarama, I don't, I don't even really know what that is. So let's see uh, if I could find it. It's really strange how they have this uh, book set up. It's not like alphabetical, so you got to kind of. Like, go through the whole book to find it. Just kind of a pain in the butt. Huh? Did I just go by it? Nope. Oh my god, well, I may not be reading it if I can't find it. And here comes my cat. I'm hoping he's not going to knock the camera over. Uh oh, come on. Oh, here we are. Okay. Oh, okay. The Celtic word Imarama means a journey of the soul, a voyage on which we don't know where we are going, but our soul knows the way. If you pull this card, you are being either being called on a soul journey or are already on one. It could be to a physical ancient place or metaphoric. <laughs> okay. Now he's freaking out. My cat's freaking out. When we journey to places that our soul remembers, a shift takes place both within us and to the planet as well. You are being called to journey to a place that is sacred to your soul. Perhaps it is a journey to the world's sacred sites or called to 
across the country, climbing mountain, lie on the desert floor, or drink from an ancient well. There are places to see and old friends to meet. I see spontaneous pil pilgrimages in your future. If a physical voyage is a possible journey through the portal of your heart, follow the invisible soul trail and will be willing to explore. Maybe read a book or watch a movie about a sacred time or place. Or perhaps you are being called to study an ancient lineage or body of work. Whatever your circumstances, your soul is ready to journey deep. Hmm. So could be even astro travel for some of you. Or like traveling in your dreams. Hmm. So if you've been wanting to journey somewhere or study about something or whatever here, then uh, maybe this take a break is going on vacation, going where you've always wanted to travel. Hmm. Maybe you can find some deep healing there. All right, so let's see what we have here. Ground yourself. Being distracted, unfocused, tired, irritated, and impatient are all signs that you're ungrounded. Now is the time to become centered and allow spirit to help you ground yourself and reconnect with divine source. So some of you need to find some peace, harmony, balance, um, get out in nature, um, you know, just connect with nature. And we have relationships. Relationships are just mirror images of your own life, how you feel and treat yourself, as well as how you tr react and respond to different situations and people around you. Be aware that every relationship is an opportunity for soul growth. So, and you see like a lot of the same energy here uh, with the birds, with the peace, the harmony, growth expansion with the tree here. So I think there's a lot of relationships around you um, that may help to ground you. Uh, maybe people like soul tribe, soul family, friends, family that really um, help to ground you, give you good advice, you know, make you feel safe. And we have here hope. Your loved ones in the spirit world know when to reach out if they are if they see you're at a low point, whether you're caught up in a difficult situation or struggling with someone specific in your life, there is always hope. So this is, you know, telling you to remain hopeful, um, have that faith and that optimistic energy. All right, so let's clarify here with tarot. Um, a lot of different messages here. Uh, I feel like <sighs> some of this is intertwining and some of it's not. Um, some of it are all could be, however it resonates for you. But um, I feel like some of you need to go on vacation to some place you've never been. And it could help to uh, relax you, heal you, transform you. If there's something you've been submerging that's ready to emerge, that you, you know, instinctively kept deep down inside before, um, maybe going on this vacation or traveling or something here will help with the situation. Grounding yourself, I feel, with friends, family, that can really help you. That you do have faith, hope, optimism around you. So let's get some cards to clarify here for you, Aquarius. So Aquarius, I do ask if you like my energy, how I read, please do like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. Hit the bell. You won't miss out on all your readings. I do <clears throat> a lot of different readings every month for every sign. So don't miss out on that. And if you do, thank you. And thank you for everybody for your support. If you've reached out for personal reading, donated um subscribed whatever here thank you thank you so much personal reading information is below the description box like i said tons of stuff there all right one two and three let's see what's on the bottom of the deck for a source recovery again here with transformation transformation healing so four swords here is recovery healing Taking some time out for you, rest, relaxation, recuperation, rejuvenation with the Four of Swords. So, again, with the take a break there. So some of you need this rest and relaxation or rejuvenation, maybe even healing over something if it's something to do with this energy over here. So, let's see. Emergence. So, we got the Two of Wands. So, this is Vision. So, you know, the two of wands is about making plans, decision for your future, 
um, which direction you're going in. So this could be, you know, deciding, do I want to let this, whatever I've kept submerged, you know, to emerge, making that decision, you know, what will happen if I do this? What direction will my life go in? What direction will my relationships go in as we have relationships over here? So ultimately, it's up to you to make that decision here uh, for your future. If you feel this needs to emerge to come out in the open, then um, that's totally up to you. So let's see what this submerged is about. So we have the magician. So this could be about, you know, a new beginning that maybe you've wanted uh, something creative that you've wanted to do. You wanted to go in a whole new direction in your life. And maybe, you know, you felt embarrassed or you may feel like people may have you know, put you down about it or laughed about it or thought it was silly. So maybe whatever, you know, because the magician manifests a brain new beginning for themselves. So um, I feel like if it's a new beginning that you've always wanted to do, try or, you know, and maybe it's something out of the ordinary and you're like, and you know what, people are going to laugh at me, they're going to think it's silly. So you maybe you kept that deep down inside and you never told anybody. And it could be anything here. So, and maybe it's, you wanted to be a magician. Maybe some of you <laughs> want to be some sort of like, um, like a living artist or, or something like that. Like the, like those acts you see on, um, uh, like America's Got Talent, stuff like that. Those crazy acts where they're, you know, they do all kind of crazy things. You know, maybe you've always wanted to live like an alternative artistic kind of lifestyle and maybe you thought you know people are gonna think I'm crazy you know maybe you never told anybody but now it's like you know I feel that vision I see the vision I see the opportunity you know and I want to go in that direction if it's not that it could be just something that people would think is not like a normal um lifestyle or something like that so let's see what this instinct is about so this is the king of pentacles so you know, the King of Pentacles is very stable, he's grounded, he's practical, he's smart, analytical, he's very cautious, um, he plans very carefully. So yeah, I think, you know, instinct here, I think it's about trusting your instincts. You know, what to do, you know, what you needed to do for your stability here. So you may have realized, you know what, maybe, you know, instinctively, you know, the best thing for me to do is to do what is best that I think, you know, will gain me stability. So you might have went out to a regular, you know, career here. And now you do have your stability, you're making your coin, you know, and everything, you're trusting, you know, everything's fine. But yet, you know, I think some of you may still have this yearning deep down within that you really want to go in another direction. And you've kept that submerged for quite a long time, but now I feel like you're ready to emerge like this dragonfly and show, show your true self and like fly out of that cocoon, that energy and say, I'm ready to go in a new direction here. Even though I'm stable, I'm gonna trust everything will be fine. It's time to just go with my natural instinct. All right, so let's see what this transformation is about. So this is a six of pentacles. So this is about going to a very healing, balanced energy. So whatever's healing, whatever's transforming here, whatever deep healing you've done, whatever transformation you're about to make in manifesting something new, I see it being very balanced, very healing energy, and um, yeah, just stable and balanced is what I'm seeing here. Wow. All right, so what do we have here? Imarama, where are you being called to journey to? So again, this is responsibility. So Ten of Wands is laying down the heavy burdens, being overburdened, too much responsibility. And I just need a sip of water. Sorry about that. Getting a scratchy throat. So where are you being called to journey to? So I feel like some of you need to lay down some burdens here. If you're overburdened, go on that vacation, you know, travel, you know, go do, see something you've never seen before, you've always wanted to journey to or learn about, and just lay down the burdens for once and the responsibility, and uh, being go to where you're being called to. 
because some of you like, main energy under here is that rest relaxation recuperation healing kind of energy so now we have take a break life's a work not a re not a season get off the treadmill so now we have stress worry anxiety with the nine of swords so yeah some of you need to take a break from being overburdened uh overworked having too much stress anxiety worry take a break go on vacation heal transform you know definitely here and need to do this uh being overworked, overburdened, too much stress, worry, anxiety, nervous energy here. So these could be separate messages apart from over here for some of you. So let's see what we have. Ground yourself. So we have the six of wands. So this is success and victory, accomplishment, fiery, passionate energy. So I think by grind, grounding yourself and finding your inner peace, your, you know, your growth, your expansion, you know, and really centering on yourself, getting away from the distractions, from, you know, the responsibility, the burden, and just concentrating on you, grounding yourself. It could be going on vacation or what, whatever here, but we, I do see success here. So, you know, continuing to be successful in whatever you're doing or whatever direction you want to go in. So we have relationships. So we have the Ten of Cups. So I see relationships being very fulfilling, uh, whether they're love relationships, family, friends, co-workers here. You do have relationships here that are totally fulfilling for you. So make sure you, um, you know, you don't take advantage of these relationships, that you treasure them, you nurture them, you spend time with them. Um, they fulfill you in every single way, the Ten of Cups here. So that's a good energy being very fulfilled in these in relationships. So we have here hope and we have the two of pentacles, which is about juggling around your energy, juggling around, it could be your finances, it could be things in your life, it could be your energy, it could be things in your head, um, options, just you know weighing out pros and cons, trying to balance things out. And this is telling you to have faith, hope, optimism, that things will balance out here in your life, if you feel very imbalanced, um, that things will balance out here for you and to remain hopeful. And spirit is trying to help you, uh, you know, pastoral beloved ones, spirits, um, ancestors, all that energy. But some here do need to ground yourself, uh, spend time with these treasured relationships and rest recovery for some and some finally letting their true selves emerge and whatever they've been keeping deep down that they wanted to manifest for themselves are now ready to emerge and manifest something new so aquarius wow a lot of different energies here so i hope uh some of these resonated for you if they did then i'm happy about that and good luck to you sending you many light love and blessings and as I always say with my channel is to always, always shine your light.